All right, let's get into it. Uh, Lapras VMAX deck. Lapras V, Lapras VMAX. Uh, Professor Jiggly here. Uh, let's go through the deck list real quick. Of course, we have Lapras V. Very good card. Even with Maytap, Lapras VMAX, that high HP and a very nice attack that goes very well with our lovely Frostmoth. Beautiful Pokemon design. That's one of the few of the new ones I really like. Kelio GX is still a very good card nowadays. Volcanium Prison Star, you know, good for being annoying. The Dene, get those draws first turn because you can't play supporters, obviously. Energy Retrieval, get those energies back. Because we're going to need all those energies. Ordinary Rod, shuffle those back in. We need energy. We play a lot, but we still need it. And then you got the catchers. A lot of catchers to hopefully pull out stuff we need. Pokemon Communication to get the things we need. The Pokemon we need at the right time. Quick Ball. Reset Stamp. You know, Switches. We need the last ones because they're bulky. Viridian Force. Get some water energies. Fisherman. Once they go there again, just like the energy retrievals. Not too bad. Attack up to get that. To give us that card. Malolana. Heal that big bulky. Just keep seeing how long we can have Lapras VMAX survive. Marnie's for a draw, but mostly for the disruption. Professor's Research, Cynthia, more typical staples. Lady, love the full art. That full art, finally happy we got it. Happy to play it. Always a good tech because that's four energy you can get. If that's just enough energy to attach with Frostmoth to Lapras there. One weakness card just in case I go against electric decks. A lot of times I don't get it when I need it, but sometimes I still win. Sometimes you're going to go down with the electric decks. But it's just a nice thing to have there because this, you know. But Frostmoth, Ice Stance is great. And it pairs nicely with this Behemoth. Cute little Lapras V. Big, beautiful Behemoth right there. Lapras VMAX. An amazing VMAX card. And uh, let's show her off and see just what she can do. Looking for her opponent. Looking for her opponent. So yeah, Lapras... It's always amazing how right off the bat, like, when we first got the GXs, we got Lapras GX right away. When we got the Vs, we got Lapras V right away. So it's always nice to see more Lapras support and more love for Lapras. Of course I lost the coin flip. <laughs> but this is just great. No, well, hopefully that little guy doesn't die off. <laughs> and the sleeve choice is more chosen for the fact that I haven't used these yet for anything. And Articuno is an ice type. Beautiful Pokemon. Works well with Lapras. Yeah, I'm going to put that on the bench. I almost did. All right. Zashian. Z what did I say? <laughs> Zashian? Zakian? I think it's Zashian, right? I think someone said Zakian. Zashian V? Zashian, Zacian. You know, let's get this Wolf of the Sword. I know I joke about this a lot. No one watches this, but he's got a sword. We all got swords. <laughs> it's basically that, but not a boo. It's a, it's a wolf, a dog. Oh, <laughs> boy. I mean, yeah, I really don't need that because let's get a Lapras out here, right? Or Jirachi because I might need some draw. Right now, I really need something because i can still get and i don't think any of the great catcher although there might be you know adp in there get that just in case because i just feel like that thing's gonna go down and now i'm gonna discard both those no i'm joking i have three three line of it but <laughs> then it'll be just dumb <laughs> unless i count on the the rod I don't know what it is with me lately, but I'm always getting switches with each other. Like, two or three switches, and then I shuffle. I'm like, I don't need this. Let's reshuffle my hand. Still get two or three switches back. I'm like, you know what? This game hates me. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that, just in case. It's a switch. See? It's a switch, if anything. Uh, I really don't want to give them energy. So, no Viridian Force right now. <sighs> I got a nice hand. The only downside with it is there's a lot of times in Pokemon where you can have like 30 cards in your hand and you can't do anything with them. So just 
Now, if this were Yu-Gi-Oh, well, I don't know. If you can draw like 30 cards in one thing, that'd be great. Alright, so far we're showing the power of Lapras. By not having Lapras at all. <laughs> and it's going to be pretty hard now to get Lapras out. Hey, they do. I knew it. I <laughs> should have kept. Should have kept that. I don't know, so I figured it's my hand. I mean, I was going to either discard all of it or shuffle back in anyway, so I have no... The only thing I notice a lot in this deck, it's very hard. I, uh, I don't know what it is with consistency lately. It's built just right, I think, if not almost just right. And yet I can never get Lapras out fast enough or get supporter cards to draw on this. I'll have, like, nothing to draw for turn after turn after turn. It's very weird. As of now, I have, like, a love-hate with this right now. We have quite a few decks I have coming out here. Wait till you see my next up for a newer deck. I will be playing Galarian Obstagoon because I, ever since I saw what that guy can do, it seems awesome. But I have a really big love-hate relationship with that. I, It's like, damn, that deck is awesome. At the same time, why do, why do people love this deck? <laughs> it sucks. But the goons... Will be, I'll show off a couple things there and just see some fun with it. I still think it's a neat deck, even though it doesn't love me back. You know how it is. All right, finally got a Lapras. Put it on there so I can retreat. Let's get rid of that hand you just drew and the thing you swapped for. Now that's all done for. Because I might as well just get rid of everything. Get seven cards. This is what it's like. We got both our VMAXs right now. This is beautiful. This is great. So we'll both get Lapras's out, and we'll both get retreat into a. Will Jirachi get us anything good this time? Probably the Viridian. Don't need the Rod right now. Or the Todd. No, don't do it yet. Because I really don't think I need it yet. <sighs> and remember those two frost moths we had at the beginning? Where did they go? <laughs> As usual. I don't need to get rid of all my water energy now. But I will, because I have this confidence I will be able to bring it back to my hand. And then I never draw it. No, I don't know. Get another Jirachi. Put that Jirachi on the... But I already retreated this turn, didn't I? So there'd be no points. So we'll wait. Everyone's ready. Two Lapras V. Two of the little guys for Frostmoth. One of them should survive, no matter what each knee so no <laughs> what are they gonna do what are you gonna do zacian anyone else excited about some of the new products coming we're getting him as a 10 with that alternate art so yay more access to him and then this new thing that just got announced in june it's supposed to come out in june where you get two to dene gx's and stuff that sounds awesome and then what is it, around August, September, when we get, like, those battle decks where there's two of them? There's supposed to be a peek around one in there, so this will be some good reprints, finally. I'm looking for more just for the digital codes. But my buds and I still have to play physically sometimes. Let's get physical. That's about as much as I can say without having to pay! No, I'm joking. <laughs> Who even? But, yeah. All right, let's see the powerful Zashian and... See, this is the one thing I feel like is the flaw for the ADP deck. They don't want to do anything until they get ADP out to do its GX attack. I've seen people lose. I've gone against people and they've lost because they want to just do. Put the energy on the Zashian right now. Kill my stuff. You're still taking prizes. 
Like, it's one of those things where it's like, if you just knock out my Jirachi, I'm kind of stuck for a while. You took, you're ahead of the game with one prize, sure it's only one prize, but then I'm out of, like, support for drawing stuff. But they have to always go. Oh my gosh, I wish I recorded it. One where on everyone's into the whole uh, Mewtwo Mew tag team card right now with Stinner GX. It's just like this. They're wait. They don't want to do anything until they get that Stinner GX. And I win. I'm sitting there like the one thing I have was a flaw in the Stinner GX idea. So you get us both down to three prizes. Mewtwo and Mew is a three prize card, right? So you use up your GX attack just to put us both down to three prizes. But then I get to attack next turn, and I have the possibility to knock you out and win, which is what I just did. And again, I was like, dude, put him out, and I'm like, you're you're knocked out. Why'd you do this? I, I didn't understand it. I don't understand the logic right now with, whew, that's why I like the decks where it's like, no, they don't want to do anything until they get ADP going, so get rid of their energies, or I still think a neat tech, you should still be playing, uh, I don't know. Is it bad? Let me know. I still think using Latios GX's GX attack is probably good tech when you play the Mewtwo Mew yourself. Like, sure, you don't use Stainer GX anymore, but I, I see people lose way more than win with that when I've been playing. I just don't... I, I don't like it. I understand it, but I don't like it because I feel like, alright, next turn. Ha <laughs> ha. Hopefully you don't knock out my guy and get those three prizes and I helped you win by cutting your prizes in half. You cut yours in half, but you cut your opponents too. And it all depends on the decks too, though. The decks I were playing were things where it's like, the one I won with it, I believe was my Hitmonchan, the hit and run one. And it's like, okay, well now you're stuck with Poke Dolls to go after while my guy taps you, does a lot of damage, and then I he was in two hits, I pretty much knocked him out. And I was like, thank you for letting me win. Oh, there goes my little guy. That's just one, though, so I only need one. You're going to do something to it, right? So I don't know. It's like this. It's like, I know that ADP's GX tech is important. But at the same time, it's like when I watched... When you watch people, yes, look at that lovely uh, Lapras VMAX sitting on screen here. <laughs> when I notice people with Picarom, if you have the opportunity, like there was one video I was watching of someone else in a battle, and the Picarom had six energy on it. And they were three prizes away. I'm like, there's a Dedene on the bench. And a Jirachi, and they're active. Do I not remember how Picarom works? And they didn't use the GX attack. To, uh, they still had their GX attack to use. But I'm like, okay, you do 200, knock out the Jirachi, 170 to the bench of the mouse, you got three prizes. I don't know why they didn't do that. And the person playing against them won. I was like, was this some kind of weird fix then? Or were they just, I don't understand. Because I guess they didn't want, well, I don't want to use 200 on a Jirachi. It's like, I want to use it on that big Pokemon they have on the bench. It's like, but you could have won. I don't understand this. Like, the people who get too cocky with the Picarom GX attack, like, they do something that's like, huh, I'm going to put all six on this. It's like, unless you know you're going to go out, don't put all six on because I've done it more often than not. I'd say 90% of the time, when I win against someone who put, go Frostmoth, go, who put all that energy onto him, Then the next turn, I'm like, knock it out, and I, that was, you wasted six energy. <laughs> but go, Frostmoth, go! Yeah, let's knock this guy out. We just need a couple more energy, and this guy is going down now. This, this is where it's nice. And then it's going to be like, oh my goodness. Your only other attacker now is Zacian. He can only do 260, which is not enough to knock out my Lapras. Then I'm going to be taking out that. I have a healer. Hmm. Alright, so now I got my three prizes. Was it worth it, is all I'm saying. 
You should have just been attacking with this. I don't know. I don't know. The ADP Zacian deck is good. But at the same time, it does have its flaws and weaknesses. All of them. All decks have flaws and weaknesses. Congratulations, Lapras VMAX. Great job with the battle there. That was really nice. So let's see what they got. Because this Zacian has three energy on it. Look at that lady. Thank you, lady. Thank you. Beautiful card. She's so cute. Now what are they going to do? Because he's got 300 jumps, so he can attack. But I'll knock it out because I do 300 now. The other one needs 300 on it somehow. It's not going to happen. Because they've already used some metal saucers. They're going to have to use up every metal saucer and every <laughs> and an attachment. Yay, I just want to show off late again because love that flash. It's so cute. And I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, that's the flaw. There's a flaw in every deck. Like, the flaw in this deck is, you know, obvious, too. Like, from it, I get clunky hands a lot. It's one of those decks where you can get some clunk. Or should I say, brick hands. Ah! My hands! <laughs> Alright. What are they going to do? Yeah, they already used up two. They'll need two more metal saucers then, right? Or they'll need to get metal saucer and then it's just it's going to be hard. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? A lot of acrobikes. Is this the end? Are they just going to give up? Holy cow, they're down to three cards, too. And I don't even think they have enough energy, either. Wow. What were you trying to do? Like, I don't understand this. What are you trying to go for? <laughs> like, should I say, well played? Yeah, I mean, what were they going for? You decked yourself out for... What were you trying to draw? There's no way. But yeah, UD MVP. UD MVP. You knocked out ADP and Zacian. Yeah, Lapras VMAX. Kicking some butt. Some with your icy awesome attacks. Your big titanic behemoth looking VMAX Pokemon. Yeah! On to the next one here, obviously. And that's what I like to see. Woo, woo. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Come on, come on, come on. Why are you taking so long to choose your active? Are you already afraid? Are you afraid of the birds? My bird trio? You think I'm playing the birds? <laughs> no, I don't know. They must obviously be playing some kind of fire deck. With normal. Who would be normal in a fire deck? Oh, maybe, uh... No? I don't know. <laughs> so I was saying maybe, like, Snorlax? Or something they're using fire Pokemon to accelerate energy? Yeah? I don't know. Let's keep... Let's see what they got here. Yeah. Oh! Corona. 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 One, nine, ten, two. Don't touch me. <laughs> Wear a mask for... Don't touch me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna need something. Oh, I'm tired of sweeping. I guess let's see what direction can give me. Go for that. Give out the active. Put another Jirachi in. I don't, Josh is going to die from the fire because of his double weakness unless I put the weakness guard energy on him. But uh, I don't see the point. <laughs> Let's get rid of the great catcher just because who knows. It's going too far. But that's what I'm thinking. Just get more stuff. Let's do this. Thank you, my little Jirachi. And, uh, yeah. We need draw support next turn. Thankfully, we got Cynthia. Gonna miss you, Cynthia. There we go. We got a nice start going here. Yeah, let's put them on the bench. Yeah, let's do that.
I think we'll be done. Volcarona, Volcarona, Volcarona. <laughs> So I feel like we're already at an advantage. Obviously, water versus fire. Yay for water! Yay! Alright, yep, there it is. I forgot what it does. It does something where you can put damage counters on. Yeah, backfire. Backfire! PK fire! Hate that little guy. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. What are they going to do? At least they're going to attack us. Oh, no, not the little guy. I like how people are suddenly using Volcarona GX right now. When obviously it was slept on. I guess maybe because it really isn't that great. But it is appreciative, I guess. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't do anything. Because the attack isn't that great, but the ability is okay. I don't know. It just It's nice to see someone trying it, though, and playing with it a lot lately. <laughs> Let's get him out there just in case. I need a backup. That's what I'm saying. There's still a lot of GX Pokemon going around. And that little guy, there we go. She is safe. Beautiful Frost Moth. Go, Jirachi. What are we going to get? Because I feel like I discard a lot of energy and I have a lot of energy there. So that. Actually, that will be enough to knock out this Volcarona, wouldn't it? <laughs> so we'll win here. Yeah. Basically, interesting game. Let's move on to another one real quick. I just really love Lapras is great Pokemon. And the VMAX, dang, I got a lot of stuff. But again, no draw, what I'm saying. It's like, dang, you're killing me. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a long battle. But we'll see what we got. They have a fighting thing there. Hit and run. That's mostly yeah, the one I see. I would love to see Stone Journer. And it's still like one of my favorite decks right now. Just like this. Bulky and beautiful and hard to defeat. Alright. Let's get... We may... I'm debating on this. Let's put one on there. We may have to say goodbye to our Mallow and Lanas and go for extra. We need draw support. I might. I have no draw. On the extra fight is draw. I'll have no draw then. So I might have to just, you know what? It's both Mallow and Lanas. So that's going to suck. Sorry to those little lollies, but. Whew. Yeah. And again, she's still no draw support. There we go. Ay, yeah, yeah. I was about to play that. I, I Many times I've misplayed playing. I, I just get that urge, like, oh, I can play this right now. I'm like, ah, I had, like, not enough stuff to shuffle back in. <laughs> All right, Sledgehammer. What are you going to do, Buzzwall? Sledgehammer. <laughs> Whoa! Custom catching already. They must be able to knock someone out, huh? Yeah, they're going to knock out my mouse. No, they're not. Buzzwall doesn't have enough to knock out the mouse right now. Why did you do it? Jeez. I love this. Every time. Might as well shuffle that one energy in. Because otherwise just waste it. And then, yep, goodbye. Another draw support card. 
Oi, sometimes, you know? Jeez, no moth either. I could get the moth, I guess. But right now, I need the Lapras VMAX. She needs to evolve. What do we got? Like, you may take my mouse. You may take my mouse, but... <laughs> Poor little snob. Snom. 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 I don't know. Snom, obviously. Oh no, the poor mouse is gonna go down. But, I hope he gets another Pokemon. <laughs> like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Like, okay, you take down the mouse, if he's your only Pokemon, but then I'm gonna put my Lapras out. And Lapras will knock out your only Pokemon? I don't see the win here. And you lost. I didn't understand what they did. They must have obviously just had nothing to go with. But you lost. It, very easily. Let's go to another one. Just because those last two were kind of a little quick. We got enough time for one more, one more quick one. Hopefully not too terribly, too terribly quick. But as you can see, Lapras VMAX, Frostmoth are a match made in Poke Heaven. <sighs> Entei. Hey, I want a coin flip. Yes? Yes? Love that little guy. Snom again. And again, no draw support. Sheesh. I could have like 30 cards of the deck be draw support. And yet, still never draw it. Any of them. Let's go Jirachi. Let's retreat. Get up you. Although that Kramer is going to be a fun one. Dang. Getting all the draw support in the world I need now. Better get that because they can snipe. They can drag it out. But I need to get Lapras out. Maybe. Somehow. I can use Lady, but I would need to switch Jirachi out unless he dies this turn. And, hey, okay. That sucks again. It must not have anything too good to go with. And, hmm. Cramorot. 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 Alright, what are we getting? Jeez. I mean, I got Cynthia if I need anything. I mean, I really don't need any of these. <sighs> I'll go with that. <laughs> I guess maybe I can just discard it then. Give me water energy. Put on you. Sadly, sorry lady, but it just doesn't work out. Yeah, I got a frost moth. Got another one down there just in case the other one goes down. I don't have enough to do anything. So I feel like, what's the point of putting frost moth on something when Cramorant... I have, I'll get one of either way. So I'll hold it for now because they can Cramorant knock out the one that I evolved out of. So then I'm screwed. 
or get nine tails out and then force out and do something that way or something. I don't know. Either way, just wait. One of them's going to go down because they're going to see that as the threat. And sadly, they're going to see, yep, sexy welder. They're going to see it as the threat. They're going to take one of them down. And that's why I was like, don't jump the gun and put that frost moth on yet. He's got it. He looks, he makes me think of a Muppet. I like that design. He looks like a Muppet. There's very few of the, this generation of Pokemon that I think is really well designed. And he's very interesting, especially the animals based off him. Because I'm like, hey, that's a pretty cool thing with the fish and everything. Pretty neat. And, but he, I, his eyes and the beak, just makes me think Muppet. Go on, I got one. So I guess this is a Blacephalon deck. With nine tails? I guess. I just feel like there's better space to be used. There we go. I mean, I'm going to knock out that Cramorant. Jirachi, give me something. You suck, Jirachi. How many more switches do I need? <laughs> Son of a gun. Ugh. But I got to do something. And hopefully with the two cards I get, I will be able to get Draw Support! As you can see, like I said, the flaw in this, I feel it's a flaw. Why is there no draw support? Whew, I just don't. <laughs> I have the draw support in here, but I can never get it. Jirachi. And Lapras. Okay, another Lapras will do. That'll actually come in handy. Let's go. Bless Cephalon there is going to have just what he needs to knock out this Lapras. Of course. And they have the Welder. Ooh. Oh. They don't have the Welder. Or do they? Yeah, they don't. Interesting. Well, my Lapras is going to knock him out. Do that. Boom. 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 And then I should hopefully be able to draw something for energy with this. No energy, of course, but it's not needed. We got the beautiful VMAX, which we can attack now. We don't need that other copy of that beautiful Frostmoth. Feel like just in case we'll need that. And there goes little Victini V. Sadly, but again, we got the upper hand with the weakness. Hey, another one. Perfect. If it goes down, if they're somehow able to they're gonna need a lot of energy to knock this out. And if you're gonna discard two for nine tails, then you obviously aren't gonna have enough to take down the big behemoth. That is Lapras VMAX, the one you need to fear. Thank you, Frostmoth. Great job, Frostmoth. And great job, Lapras VMAX. We got this. We, we won this one. Because there's just no way. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Ooh, two, double is sexy. I <laughs> uh, love Lapras VMAX. It's a fun deck. Water Pokemon are always so bulky, so powerful. And Lapras VMAX is just another great example of that. The beautiful, the artwork is beautiful. 
because it just showcases the melodious, that beautiful melody, the beautifulness, the shyness, that is basically the Titanic. <laughs> and it shows. And a great partnering with Frostmoth, and I did not see the point of that. Considering I also have a Switch. So, I don't know. But, yeah. So, we got this. We won. Great deck. Try it out. Uh, next up, I got a couple of old decks. The showcase. The show off. I have my Hitmon and Run. And, of course, the Goons are all coming. And then, I want to really try out that uh, Caracosta. Caracosta? You know, the turtle that just came out. GX with the Dakes 90 less with the set that came out. Really want to try him out. So go, VMAX Lapras. Go! Woo! You won again. You the MVP. Let's do that. Let's see this. Bam! Later. This has been... Professor... <laughs>